if you've been following along this, if you've been following along in this series of videos, you can see that I've been adding little details here and there. I want to show you some fine tune uh, techniques that will really make it personalized to your story. It's really important that you use copyright free images. And you can see on here on this large, large uh, presentation of all these images, these were uh, sourced by Pixabay and they're they're free for commercial use so you can't just go to google and search something up my best suggestion to you is to take a photo of something yourself maybe it's something in your own room that you really want added in so i went into my um, son's room and i know that he would want the photos of his favorite baseball players uh, so i took a photo of them and i shared the photo from my iOS device into my Google Drive. So you can have a parent help you. Um, and uh, there's lots of tutorials how to get photos from your phone into your Google Drive. Now, when I'm done with that, I can just open it in my drive and I can download that photo by clicking that button right there. And then when I'm at my um, slides there, especially this is an important part. Again, I can insert by either clicking um, insert image or I can drag it right in with a MacBook like that. Now, if I wanted to do this um, on a Chromebook, I would have to go to insert image and then um, upload uh, from the computer and I would choose downloads. Oh gosh, it's uh, not in the right direction. So I wanna make sure I have to flip this. So here I go, I'm gonna flip it like this and it's huge, this is not gonna work for me. And it looks terrible. Um, because it's got all that background in. So I want to show you this great trick you can do. If you double click on this image, you can really crop it to however you like. Now, that part didn't turn out so great. So I just want the top image. So I'm double clicked on it and I'm going to drag it all the way up to the edge of that frame. And I'm going to do the edge also. Be careful not to grab the blue lines but only these thick black lines otherwise it'll be a very frustrating process just go slow and you'll get it and you'll see the original outline of this original photo is still there if i click away look what's left just the photo so if i shrink that down like this now you'll notice that it's covering i want to put it right there on the wall behind that character's head and you'll notice it's kind of she's in the way so there's a couple things you want to try. You would go to arrange, order, and send backward and see if that worked. Now, if that didn't work, I'm going to select her, arrange, order, bring to front. And there she is. She's in front of that image. Now I can really click on the image and I can sort of get it just where I want it, like that. There, that looks pretty good. You can see I did that with this plant as well. So if I keep moving it, it's gonna go behind the couch. And if you double click on that plant, you'll see that it was hanging off the edge of the slide presentation here. And so all I did was trim that plant. You can see, there we go. And if I want to move it back, oops, I'm just moving everything here. Um, there we go move it or i can move the couch a little bit everything is just arranged on top of each other there 